short how-to video on how to capture chemiluminescent western blot using the signal accumulation calculator mode in Genesis image capture software you'll be shown how to 1. position your sample 2. acquire an image 3. how to save or export images and 4. export to analysis software signal accumulation calculator allows you to take a series of images and is useful for determining the optimal imaging time for chemiluminescent samples then you can pick the best image to capture again as a single image. When you open Genesis software from the icon on the desktop, you will see the home page. From the home page, select blocks and then the signal accumulation calculator. To ensure maximum resolution, use the sample size pop up to select your sample size to ensure your sample fills the screen. For this example, we will select 7 times 8.4 cm. Don't worry if you select the wrong size, you can always adjust the zoom later. Place the black anti reflective screen on top of the UV transluminator and place your sample on top in a central position. The system should prompt you to place the black screen into the dark room if this is the first time or if the dark room has been used for another application. With chemiluminescent samples, to make it easier to focus your image, you can either leave the dark room door open or turn the white light on. Adjust the focus and the zoom using the lens controls. Focus the image until the edges of the membrane are nice and sharp. Select the level of binning from the drop down menu. Binning combines adjacent pixels to form super pixels but will result in a reduction of resolution. Using binning can reduce the exposure time required for chemiluminescence. Select the exposure time for the first image, for example, one minute. Then choose the exposure time for the last image, for example, four minutes. Select the number of images to capture for example, 4. Select to capture a visible marker or a colour marker if your system has the functionality with the correct filters installed. Then close the darkroom door. Press capture. Captured images will appear in the film strip. If you select to capture a visible colour marker, the top image is the multiplex of the chemi image and the marker image. You, you can choose which chemi image you would like to be overlaid with the marker image, select the image and then select using multiplex. To capture one of the images from the series as a single image, using the same imaging conditions, you need to go to the settings page from the home screen. From the general chemi settings, select to enable capture with timing for chemi series and SAC. Select the image from the film strip that you wish to capture as a single image. Then press the capture with time button. If you're regularly capturing similar images, you can save these settings as a protocol, which will be saved on the home screen. Use the histogram 
or the contrast slider bars to make adjustments to brightness and contrast, making it easier to see fainter bands. To save the image, select the save icon from the pop-up. Use the drop-down menu to select which images to save to. Check the boxes to save all the images in the selected range or to include sub-images. Then press OK. Select an image from the, from the list to see a preview and select the browse button to choose the save path. To save time when, when saving, check the box to remember the save path. Press Save Selected, a data re report pop-up will now appear, which will export as a .text for reference only. This will save the image in the SVG format. The SVG format is fully GLP compliant format that ensures image and data integrity. Essential for allows with 21 CFR compliance requirements. If you prefer to save your image as a TIFF or a JPEG, then use the Save As icon to export images as displayed or as captured. You can also select the DPI and the bit depth when working as a TIFF image. For analysis, export your image to Gene Tools Analysis software using this icon.